Good evening everyone, it is Krebsko here with a World of Tanks live gameplay footage from the patch 8.1 test server. So today we're going to be looking at two British tanks in particular, tier 5s. And in fact I'm just going to go to the tech tree here and show you guys the tanks that we're looking at today. Specifically the Crusader over here and also the Churchill 1. Heavy tank, okay? I was actually going to be doing this video based off of the tier 1 and tier 2s, but there's simply just not enough people playing the test server to actually get a game. Twice I've actually been in a queue, and maybe you guys can see this in a second, uh, you can't see it, but twice I've been in a queue and I was waiting for the maximum length of time and then I was kicked out because simply put, there's just not enough people playing the actual... Uh, tier 1s and Tier 2s and anything even lower than, uh, or a bit higher than that, it's lower than Tier 5. So Tier 3s and 4s, seems like not many people are playing it. It just seems like from Tier 5 and up, uh, that's where it really begins. So, I guess I'll be starting off here from the Crusader and the Churchill. I should mention to you guys that I have not played these tanks whatsoever, so what footage you're going to be seeing here is going to be my first time playing them. However, I may play uh, once or twice with each tank, just to give you guys a bit of a feel. And if I did go for a second time, it would probably be because uh, I would want to improve based off of a first experience, uh, first game, okay? So, what I'll do is, I guess we'll go for the light tank option first. This is the Crusader over here. As you can see, that is its speed, top speed of 44. Uh, traverse is pretty damn fast, it's pretty good. So I wonder how much horsepower it has. Well, if I go over to this, 410 horsepower. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's... Brilliant for tier 5. I think it's, a, I think it's decent enough. Uh, its gun is around here. 27.27 uh, rate of fire, which is plenty, plenty, plenty. And lots of penetration and damage as well. So high fire rate that I can notice uh, on this light tank. And it looks specifically quite awesome if you ask me. So anyway, we'll head on over to a battle. Uh, I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but probably not too long. Because we've got 26 people waiting in the queue. But what I'll do is I'll actually just cut on forth to the actual game when it starts. Alright, well here's the game that we're going to be doing. It's not even a full match. It's not a full 15 uh, people on each side. This is only, what, uh, 7 people on each side? <laughs> oh gosh. Just not enough people playing these tiers, man. Not enough at all. So, we're going to be playing on Fjords. And what do I plan on doing? To be honest, I'm not too sure. Since I'm a light, light tank, maybe I'll just go zip on up to the middle of the field, like D6 and around there. Maybe I can get some cover and start shooting at some stuff, but yeah, yo, we'll see, okay? Um, what does this tank feel like initially? Well, it feels quite speedy at that. Nice, uh, fast acceleration, getting up to my top speed very f uh, decently. Although, uh, no struggles, no struggles to get to my top speed, although uh, it does feel like it should go faster than that. It feels like it, it should have a higher maximum speed, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. 44 is still plenty to work with. Um, and I guess what I'll do here is wait for the enemy to come by. Maybe I can catch him in a little bit of crossfire. I'm thinking maybe I should go up to that rock up there. Maybe I can catch some more. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a good idea since I'm a freaking light tank. Last thing I want to do is take on some heavies. Um, all right. Now we play what we call the waiting game. And I have a feeling they're all going to be down there somewhere. Yes, I see you, I see you. Enemy and I hit. shot you. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to have too much luck destroying me, mate. Enemy yeah, you're gone. Destroyed. You're gone. And that is an A13 Mark 2, 3, 2. I think that was Mark 2, yeah, gone. I've got another Crusader up there, so just like me. Alright, fair enough. I'm gonna need a little bit of backup, methinks. I don't know, I just got a slight suspicion that there might be more guys down there. And I hope they're not hiding behind those bushes and I can't see them. So who else am I working with? That's Panzer IV up in that location. I sometimes wonder why people actually go for like the normal tanks that they have access to in the normal game. Maybe it's because they want to try it out. You know, they... They plan on going down a certain route or something, and they just want to try what the tank is like. Oh, hello, you surprised me. You surprised me indeed. Ah! No! Yeah, you're detract, mate. No. No! He blew me up! 
Fantastic! Oh no, it wasn't even him, it was artillery. That is great. Well, the thing that I do like is the high rate of fire. He's a tier 4, right? He's still gonna finish me off. Okay, I suppose he was a tier below me. Give him to that. Okay, so that was at least one kill. Whatever. Hey ho, back to the garage. The garage. And we'll try... Perhaps the uh, other tank, because we're, we're gonna be waiting for this. So, Churchill! We already know what the Churchill is like in the uh, normal server, but all I can really say about this from initial impressions is that it has a longer cannon pretty much everywhere. First off, it doesn't have that small cannon on the normal Churchill, but apparently it does on this, and has a much longer turret. Look at that. Massive thing. Uh, rate of fire is 12.5. Uh, that's average penetration and average damage, obviously better than the light tank that we were just using. Uh, however, I have a definite feeling that it's probably going to be a slower thing. Yeah, it's definitely slower. And what is its actual main stats like? Uh, maybe if we go to here, vehicle details. Top speed of, where am I looking at? 25.7. Well, that is fantastic. It's nice to be playing a lumbering giant, okay? So we'll head on over to a battle and see how this is going to be like. Again, we'll just cut on straight to it as soon as we get to a game. Well, this is very nice. We've got another uh, small game. Seven people on each side, not enough people. But look at this. We've got Churchills, just normal Churchills. Not even Churchill ones like me with the gigantic turret. we just got normal freaking Churchills going about in the field. Um... So yeah, I have to see how this is like. 700 HP, does that compare to a uh, normal church? I don't think it does exactly, but maybe that's just because of a balancing thing. Uh, because this obviously has a much bigger cannon than the uh, normal premium premium tank that we know as a, a Churchill currently. Alright, but we're going to be playing Assault. So since I'm down here, there's probably no point in me heading up north because it will take me literally all day and all night to actually get up there. So... Can't be bothered, gonna head up this direction. Look how slow this lumbering giant is. Very slow traverse, very slow acceleration. Uh, <laughs> hills definitely become a worse nightmare. And I'm just feeling a little bit iffy about coming over this hill right now. Especially if there might be any sort of enemies up there. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll go for the between the tra tank traps over here. Maybe I can get some cover behind that bunker. Going from place to place, but of course the most uh, horrifying thing about this is definitely the speed. This just feels very, very slow and sl yeah, very, very slow. But I have a feeling that the gun is going to make up for it plenty. Uh, but I'm going to have to see in a second here. Where are you, you enemy tanks, you? They're going to be here somewhere. I know that. But where they are, I have to find them. Uh, I actually equipped a few different things on this tank. Um, I used the... Uh, I actually replaced um, one of my, my modules, my equipment, with the tool repair box, just because you don't have access to all of the ones that you normally would. I have the rammer for extra fire rates and such. Oh, whoa, the elevation on this thing is very poor indeed. Like yeah, right yeah, through. yeah, yeah. And fire! Seems like it can easily penetrate. What is that, T1 HT? I think usually the front is supposed to be quite scary to penetrate, isn't it? But, uh, no problems whatsoever. No problems whatsoever. And this is his final shot. No? Oh, man. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> so T1HT combating me, in fact. And, yeah, I had a feeling that there would be artillery somewhere there. What?! Crusader! Ricochet off of him. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here, guys. My entire team is dead. I am probably gonna be dying sometime soon here. Yeah. That's like it. That's more like it. Dying. <laughs> uh, one of the most unfortunate things to do, I could just tell. Being caught out in the open like that, just being asked to... Uh, uh, be flanked around from different sides, and especially artillery shooting at me. So... That is the Churchill one for you. We'll try another game of the uh, Crusader. And see again how that is like. But hey, oh, getting one kill. That's that's fine with me. At least I'm getting one kill. I can uh, make sure that I am beneficial enough as to not, you know, be negative for my team. Alright, until we get a game. Appa! This does not look good. It looks like I am in a... 
higher tier match. Again, not as many people as we'd like there to be, but uh, tier 7s, fantastic. I guess this is going to be uh, part of the matchmaking system. So, obviously I'm not going to have the best of capabilities when it comes to taking on these higher tier tanks, but since I'm a light tank, I guess my role is going to be more predefined to scouting and also annihilating the artillery and maybe flanking and just providing support for my tanks. That's all I can really do when I'm forced into, into such situations, but alright, we'll make the most of what we can, okay? So I'll stay behind my main tank, so what am I looking for? KV-3 and Panther, I guess we'll just have to support them, right? <laughs> WTF in the chat? What's wrong, guys? And everyone's going straight for the middle? Surely not. Look at that Panther, massive turret. Massive cannon. Just stretches out. It's even like longer than its actual chassis, its body, isn't it? Maps look uh, pretty good with uh, the new graphics in place. However, I don't know. This don't, one doesn't seem like uh, it's totally revamped yet. I mean, come on, shouldn't Hay have a bit of more, you know, 3D texture to it? All right, we'll take out this T50. We'll take him out. He's going straight for the artillery. Yeah. Looks like that one went right through. Come on then! We the this is a high speed chase. They're hit. Penetration. Yeah, you're done for. Gotcha. See you later. So I guess that is some of the role of the light tanks out there. Alright, we'll close in on this guy. Let's see what we can do, eh? What is he? A KV-1S? Oh shit, something's shooting me from the side. Not good, not good. Try circling around this guy here. Mmm, I have a feeling I'm going to have a bit of difficulties penetrating this thing. We've just dinged him. No, you're not going anywhere. Nowhere. Enemy armor yeah, right into the back of that. Cupola, maybe? No? Just in the back? Back around here? Come on! <laughs> what a- another high speed chase! What is this gonna be? Yeah, buddy! I think that was an ammo racket! That was an ammo racket! I just got 400 damage on the guy! <laughs> that was brilliant! Great stuff, I'm happy with it. Alright, so where are we going now, guys? Oh, god, I'm breaking buildings here left and right. If anything, he's gonna probably be looking at me. Oh, what are we looking at? Black Prince? Sure, sure. Alright. I just don't want to become a main target here. I'm not the fastest of vehicles. They could easily shoot me if they wanted to. Let's go around the guy. Ah, is he looking at me? Is he gonna bother? Oh, well, he's gonna be bothering soon. Here we go. Closing in very nicely. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'll get out of here. Bye bye. And maybe I'll sh start shooting you from down here. That's okay with me. I'm okay with that. Just from the bottom. That's always nice. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting that, to be honest. Ah, uh, my kill, mate. My kill. So, who else are we looking for? I think there's somebody else somewhere out there, isn't he? Uh, maybe we could go for an artillery kill, no? I'm sure there's some artillery somewhere out here on the field. Uh, I think the enemy tank story was somewhere out there. If I'm remembering or having situational awareness on the map. Yeah, he's probably somewhere out there. Well, then the artillery is probably somewhere out here. And then which direction would he be? Well, I don't want to go in a straight line. Then again, I'm not even that fast. Like, look at this. I'm not even that fast. Ah. Could be faster, that's for sure. All right. Start capping. Start harassing them a little bit. And that should be fine with me. Depends where this artillery comes from. Depends also where this uh, enemy tank destroyer comes from as well. 
Wouldn't be too good if he just popped out of nowhere and just shot me. Okay, but we play the waiting game. The waiting game! Now we can count bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, God, I can't be a bother annoying you guys. Honestly, I can't even be bothered annoying myself. If I started singing that song, I just start getting annoyed with myself. Ah, uh, no. Maybe I can destroy this stuff. Make him... Make him dance a little bit. Can I not destroy the wall? Is that not destructible? No? Yeah, there we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hopefully the artillery can't see me. That wouldn't be good. Maybe I can shoot from here. A little bit behind this stuff. So, where are you? Where are you? Tank destroy you. It's gonna be coming out, isn't it? Somewhere in that direction? Yeah, hello. Stop! Why? Hit. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, but it's not, it's too long. No, don't stop, we're gonna lose. Fuck that. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations. And that is how you get Mastery Badge First Class. Maybe if I actually went out to kill them, I could have gotten it up. Uh, an Ace Tanker, but hey oh, can't be bothered. Right, and so the last game for today will be the Churchill one again. Let's go. Oh god, looks like we're gonna be stuck in one of these games again. <laughs> uh, in a higher tier, with not a full game. Right, fantastic, and this time I'm not even a light tank, so my role isn't even devoted to taking on... Uh, like scouting and such like that and harassing, but instead I have to possibly snipe Again a supportive role, but sniping uh, Thank God I'm not a Churchill just like a normal Churchill in a situation like this or else I wouldn't be able to penetrate anything at all But luckily I've got this higher caliber gun and we all have to go attack Is it a wise thing that they're all, we're all being sheeple at the moment and all go in the same direction? Well, to be honest I wouldn't usually follow the crowd, I'd usually go for a different direction, but just for the sake of this video and, you know, making it look absolutely awesome how there's a uh, platoon of tanks going in the same direction, you know, fuck it, we'll do it. Oh no, worst nightmare ever! Worst nightmare, can you crawl over? Can you crawl over? And look at him go! Oh! And down the hill he goes. Hopefully not to get sniped. Right, all those tanks are already down there. Again, a testimony of just how slow this freaking thing is. <clears throat> Big treads, massive freaking treads, look at that. And what do we got over there? Just the Tiger P. Something else is up there. Something else is up there. Ah, I knew it! I knew it! I knew I'd get shot! I knew I'd get shot from the side, that's why I was gonna be going over the hill here. God damn bastard. Trying to catch me out, isn't he? Luckily not taking a huge amount of damage. That's only from a Comet. Maybe he's got a bit of a lower damage. I'm not sure. I haven't used the Comet yet. Uh, man, what am I going to do? I'm just going to support, 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 eh? T-52 on our team is already dead. As usually happens 90% of the time with Light Scouts. They just tend to die straight away if they don't know what they're doing. Ah, come on, man. Come on. No. I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. I wonder if that comet is still going to be over there somewhere. Oh man, I hope this isn't a daft idea. It probably is. That comet is up there, isn't he? He's catching me from the side. Damn it. Damn it. This isn't turning out to be too good. This is not good. Right, and now we play the waiting game of survival. Because <laughs> somewhere up there is a freaking tank. And if I move anywhere, I am just going to die. 
I'm just waiting for my imminent death here. See that? If you're up there, you start getting shot. Somebody waiting at the top of that hill, just sniping. Right there. That guy, that freaking comet. That freaking comet. Man, we don't have artillery, but they do? Damn! How does that work out? Man, we could use artillery to start harassing that comet. That would be so good, but... Whatever, man. I guess we're not allowed to. I don't want to be staying inside a puddle this entire entire game. Oh, that's the comet moving, thank god. So finally I can actually go do something for you guys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Mm, let's get some cover maybe. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, the little the little Churchill that could get up that fucking hill. Good, good lad. All right, let me go. Seems like the team's doing quite well though. Their team is down three players. I should be dead right now, to be fair. But luckily, I ditched into that puddle right there, <laughs> that pond. Or else that comet would have finished me off. So it looks like this entire game is just me trying to survive, isn't it? I mean, I didn't even get off any shots. Oh god, he's, he's, I hope he's not trying to fire at me. Yes! Get one shot. One opportunity. Please! He's right there! Let's kill him. Ah! Oh. Of course, somebody else will have to do it. Right, shot for luck, and obviously no luck. That is my luck. A testimony of my luck. I get no luck. If anything, it's just bad luck. They only have one tank left remaining. Where the hell is he hiding? I think he was somewhere in the mountains over there. Situational awareness, make sure you're always looking at the map and what's going on around you so you can remember where the, such things are actually going on. I'd be such a nice and juicy target for him to finish off. He could probably get me one shot since he's a tier 7 tank destroyer. Alright, but he's over there. Hiding. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, but we're all diverging on him slowly. He's not going to be alive for too much longer. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be going down in a second here. This game didn't really show you that much of the Churchill, did it? Now <laughs> it was more so what to do when you're screwed. Get shot. That's all. You just become a meat shield. And see all those shots right in my side armor. Look at that. Damaging my track. Look at that. Right in the uh, what do you call it? spindle or something? Very end of it. There you go. That's that match. Not really. Not really do too well, that's for sure, but hey-ho. Okay, guys, so that will conclude this episode of checking out the Tier 5 British tanks. I hope you enjoyed it, and in the next episode, we'll be taking a look at, hopefully, the lower tier ones, if I can manage it. If not, we'll be taking a look at some higher tier ones, okay? So until then, see you all soon. Right, here we go. Three, two, one.